Have you ever got confused between what is resolution and the difference between sharpness? So resolution does not equal sharpness. When you're talking about higher resolution images, they typically create sharper images as far as the appearance of sharpness, because there's a higher pixel count. The reason why I say resolution does not equal sharpness is because you could have 8K image and it will be soft, it depends on if we're talking about resolution in the acquisition stage or the exhibition stage. Acquisition means when you capture it, you acquire the image. And exhibition means when you're actually showing that image on a monitor, iPhone, or laptop. You can see the subtle differences. But resolution is defined as a measurement of the sharpness of an image or the fineness with which a device such as a video, display, printer, or scanner produces or records such an image. This is typically expressed as a total number of pixels in the image. To put it simply, we are discussing the clarity and distinctness of an image, which is acquired at the acquisition stage. There is a significant difference between resolution and sharpness. Resolution can be discussed when acquiring an image or filming, and it can also refer to the number of pixels in the image. Sharpness, on the other hand, is more related to the lens and filtration used during the acquisition stage. In my opinion, the difference between resolution and sharpness is subjective and dependent on one's eyesight. For example, many people believe that an image is sharper when the contrast levels are raised. However, this is simply a trick of the eye, as the image's resolution and sharpness have not actually changed. Rather, the manipulation of color and light levels is what creates the illusion of sharpness. Resolution is influenced by another factor, your lens. I'm not just talking about the glass quality, but also the lens aperture. For example, shooting on an Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro may result in less sharpness than shooting on an Alexa, even a classic Alexa. This is because there are several different variables that affect sharpness, and not all of them are related to resolution. For instance, putting a cheap lens on an Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro and then putting an expensive lens on an Alexa will result in the expensive lens outperforming the cheap lens in terms of sharpness. This is simply due to the optics of the lens. Let's assume that all lenses are equally sharp. Now, let's talk about how aperture comes into play. You know that an f8 aperture has a smaller opening than f4. This is important because we're talking about the science of sharpness and resolution. The problem with discussing sharpness and resolution without factoring in lenses is that light bends when it passes through small openings, like your aperture. This is called diffraction. The tighter the opening, the more light diffracts. Sharpness can be subjective. The sharpness of an image can be affected by your aperture, depth of field, shutter speed, lens, and camera sensor. So why am I even talking about resolution? Why am I talking about sharpness? As cinematographers, we always want the highest resolution. We always want sharp images. And depending on your style and what you like, you may go for the sharpest image, what you will do with that image in post versus doing things optically with your lenses and filtration. There are three reasons why cinematographers desire the highest resolution and sharpness. First, oversampling allows for greater flexibility in post-production. For example, if you have a 4K image and a 1080 image that were shot identically, and you play them back on an HD TV, the 4K image will look better than the 1080 image when downscaled to HD. This is because the 4K image contains more information, which allows for a smoother, more detailed image when downscaled. Second, higher resolution and sharpness can help to create a more immersive viewing experience. When you have more pixels per inch, the image appears sharper and more lifelike. This can be especially important for action movies or other genres where the viewer needs to be able to see the details of the action. Finally, higher resolution and sharpness can simply make an image look more beautiful. When you have more pixels to work with, you can create images with a greater sense of depth and detail. This can be a valuable asset for any cinematographer, regardless of their genre or style. Think about it this way. The footage was shot in its original format and played back on an HD TV or monitor. If you're distributing your film in 4K and you shot it in 8K. This means you have a lot of resolution to reframe your images. For example, you can scale it in a little bit or reposition it, and you'll still have the pixel count we discussed. If you shoot in 4K and try to reposition the frame in 4K, you will lose pixel information if you scale up. This is why Hollywood professionals downscale their footage. Another reason to oversample and get the highest resolution possible is for VFX and stabilization. If you are doing a heavy VFX shot, 
You want the sharpest images possible so that your VFX artists have enough information to work with. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for joining us on this cinematic journey. If you like this video then please let us know by commenting down below. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning, and keep creating.